we're doing on our show this morning. Um, I don't know if anybody else is doing anything like this in radio. And, you know, when we were talking about doing this, we were like, yeah, it'll be kind of fun. But at the same time, we were, you know, making sure that we wanted to put a a, uh, a serious spin on this, I guess, is what you're what we're trying to say here. Mm-hmm. That there's actually a seriousness to what we're talking about this morning. And, uh, you know, Wednesday night is going to be a crazy night, as it always is before Thanksgiving. And it is, uh, you know, comparatively to Fourth of July and other, you know, big holidays like that, it's just as big of a, a drinking party night as it is compared to some of the other ones. I mean, April, do you remember going out on Wednesday nights? Oh, always when I was in college and, you know, even in early in my career. But here's an interesting statistic I just found. 90% of all drunk driving happens when people are chilling, dining, partying, or going out with friends, family, and coworkers. Okay, so this isn't when people are going out to binge drink or anything like that. This is just for... Kind of casual drinking, casual like drinking. many of us do, yeah. Right. Uh, you know, Flounder went out, and how easy was it for you to find these four locos? Because they're banned in five states. Yeah, well, a lot of states, too, like, if that they are banned in, uh, they're, they're not going to be as easy to find. The place I went to that's actually banned, and it's going to be, uh, I think they have to be off the ship. They're, like, they're not getting more shipments, so they're pretty much, what they have is what they have. I got the last that they had. Okay. Uh, Officer uh, Vandenberg is in the studio with us right now, and uh, he's going to do our blood alcohol level. Now, first of all, Flounder, explain what you felt after drinking one of these four Locos. I'm doing better now, but literally 15 minutes ago, I was sweating profusely, sitting in my chair. Uh, my heart was pounding. I thought I was having a heart attack, and uh, it just—it was—it was a bad situation. I really felt like I was buzzed. Now this was uh, at least about a half an hour ago, so this should be enough time, right, officer? As far as getting it out of our mouth, so that way it's not going to affect the test. Yep, definitely enough time passed. Okay. Now uh, I had just one regular beer versus your one four loco, so as a test subject, so we can see the difference between what it's going to do for me with the one regular beer versus a one four loco for you. All right. So why don't we do this? Why don't I do the first uh, test here? Okay. I'll give a little play by play. Scoot over. All right. I'll do the first one. All right. Scrubs and the officer. Now, what, what's going on right now? You're actually just turning the unit on? Yep, just doing some <laughs> internal tests, make sure that it's accurate and functioning properly. I remember this in my high school day. It was a bad <laughs> bad house party. I remember this for other reasons. But... Okay. All right. It shows it's ready to go. Okay. You just put your lips around it and uh, blow like you're blowing up a balloon. Good. All right. Waiting to see what Scrubs has. Zero, zero, zero. <laughs> <laughs> so after one beer... Zero, zero, zero is what I've registered, and that was about, uh, probably about one half hour ago. But that, uh, I mean, I've heard, though, that makes about sense, though, because you have it about an hour ago, and that's one beer. Your body should be able to metabolize that one beer. Is that is that right? And I, I believe that's a, a light beer with probably a low alcohol content. Yeah, it's probably a, a 3%. Okay. A 3%. And you had it, you finished it about... About half, oh, yeah. eh, about a half an 30, hour ago. Yeah, 30, mm-hmm. 40 minutes ago. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so now let's try Flounder, who finished his four loco at the exact same time, and let's see if there's a difference between what he's going to have happen with him and what just happened with me with this one light beer. All right, so Flounder, go ahead and you do your, your test ready? now. All right, internal test is ready. Go ahead. Good. All right. It's processing right now. <laughs> the the batteries are blown, blown out, out, right? Okay. We There's have smoke coming out of it. Point zero four six. So halfway to the legal limit for drunk driving. Oh my gosh. Half. Wow. Seriously? <laughs> well, and that's after one. That's after one. And you and you finished that literally probably about a half an hour ago, thirty minutes ago. Okay, so now here's what's gonna happen. Officer Vandenberg's gonna come back a little bit later on this morning. I'm going to have a second one. Flounder's going to have a second one. We're going to compare them again in about one hour from now. Okay? We're, we can do that, right? We have yeah, time we for that? that. I'm still amazed, though, Scrubs, like you're saying. You had, like, one a typical beer that you'd have if you go somewhere. Just one beer. And you literally, it makes sense. You're not even showing up, really. Right. Like you're barely even on there. And Officer Vandenberg, let me ask you, you know, when first of all, when you when you pull people over, you're running to people that have, you know, are suspicious that may have had a, a few too many, and they go... Officer, but I only had one beer. <laughs> uh, it doesn't typically show up as zero, 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 does it? When you hear the Correct. people say that, that, that is not the case. <laughs> uh, okay, I well, only had one beer, officer. <laughs> right. One drink. Uh, so there you go, ladies and gentlemen. By the way, that's an example of what one beer looks like on the breathalyzer test. If you've in fact only had one beer. Just so you all know. Okay, we're going to talk with Officer Vandenberg again in about one hour from now. Flounder, grab another Four loco. I'm going to grab another light beer, and then we'll see in one hour where we're at. <laughs>